Hi guys, so today I want to share with you a little bit about what flow training is, uh, what are the benefits, and how it's a little bit different than traditional type of exercises, and why everybody can benefit from it. Doesn't matter if you're an athlete or if you're just a, uh, just a person behind a computer a lot, you know, who don't get a lot of activity, you know, your life can really benefit a lot from this type of training. So flow training is a, is a training method that trains your body and your mind. And on one level, it's training the body on teaching it how to let go, teach the body how to surrender, how to be able to relax, how to stay calm, how to let go of tension. And on the other end, for the mind, it's teaching the mind how to focus, how to be able to, um, to get into like a meditative state, into having more peace, you know, more, um, uh, more relaxation. And so the actual training is 44 different moves, and it's done over a period of about 60 minutes. And there's four different parts. And each part is dedicated towards a different, uh, different benefit. Part one is really about getting loose, about getting the body to, uh, to increase in range of motion, increase in relaxation and looseness, getting the body to learn how to move with the least amount of resistance, the least amount of energy. Part two is diving into a lot of resistance training, building strength, building more, uh, more endurance, testing the cardiovascular system. Part three is flexibility and range of motion where we're slowing down the breath, we're getting into stretching and things like that. Where part four is diving into breath work where we are really calming down the mind and sinking in with the body, filling the body up with a lot of oxygen, a lot of HO2, HO2, well, um, oxygen, and getting rid of CO2 and really tapping into, tapping into a deep state of meditation. So this is very different than traditional types of exercises where if you were to go into the gym, if you were to go and build, you know, work on muscles and work on stimulating, tearing down the fibers, even working on getting some cardiovascular um, work in, it still lacks a lot of the loosening up. See, when our bodies get really, really tight from training, we have to also get the body to loosen up, get let go of tension. Because if we don't let go of tension, what happens is the body gets really used to being tight. And any time throughout the day when we experience stressful situations and frustrations, our body also becomes tight. And if we ever encounter any type of uh, situation where we experience fear, our body also gets tight. But we don't practice getting the body to become loose. We don't get the body to let go of any type, all the tightness, all the tension. So when we are experiencing any type of uncomfortable emotions, our bodies get tight. But if our bodies don't get loose and let it go, then that emotion never actually leaves us. And then it stays in our body and then it circulates and it starts influencing our thoughts and it influences our perspective, giving us perspectives of fear, perspectives of worries and stress and things like that because it's actually coming from the body. So our body and mind is like a feedback loop, you know, and one influences the other. So in flow training, one of the main emphasis is to teach your body how to be able to let go, how to be able to let go of tension, how to let go of fear, how to let go of this uh, tightness, how to be able to switch the body from a sympathetic nervous system, a fight or flight, adrenaline rush, and how to switch it into a parasympathetic, into recovery and digestion, where the body can actually relax. Our bodies are meant to be able to turn on and off, both of them. And just like animals, when they are running for their life, they got their sympathetic nervous system engaged, right? All of their blood is rushing into all the limbs, giving them all the energy and power in order for survival. And when the danger is gone, they loosen up and get back into a parasympathetic to where they're just relaxing and just being calm. Us humans have the same ability to where when we need to go ahead and create that extra energy in order to do anything, we're able to turn it on and get it done. But the problem is that we don't practice on turning it off like our animals do because we have the mind. We have the mind that's constantly, constantly creating, recreating situations in our mind of these, of, of these situations that get us to have this adrenaline rush, you know, deadlines that we have to hit that we're getting laid on, you know, mortgages that we don't know how to pay and we feel like our life is being threatened. And so what this practice does is it teaches our body how to be able to turn off that fight or flight so this way we can be in a calm, relaxed state. And when we are, you know, we're able to go through life in flow. You know, to where we are not constantly feeling this agitation, this agitation in our body. You know, you ever sit still and you feel like this uncomfortable agitation that's just kind of there, that make you want to move, that make you want to do something, 
because sitting there and not doing anything, you can sense the agitation. Or a lot of people experience going to bed and not being able to sleep because their mind is constantly racing. And that racing mind creates a lot of agitation. It doesn't give us the peace of mind. So all of this has to do with getting our bodies, learning how to be able to let go. Learning how to be able to let go of tension, let go of the agitation, let go of everything that bothers us. So then our body's at peace, our mind is at peace. And everybody needs this because we live in a modern world where everything is constantly demanding us, demanding more from us. We're having to go ahead and learn faster than we ever had before because of technology and because of changes in our world that's constantly happening so fast. And so a way to go ahead and be able to keep up with the changes in our world while at the same time be able to have peace in our mind. We have to be able to do something for ourselves that allows our body to be able to be in a relaxed state and our mind to be in a relaxed state. And so this practice, this is done every single morning, seven days a week, you know, because every single day we are being introduced into the world and we are having to deal with everything. And so we start off our day by doing this morning practice. So this way sets our body in a relaxed state that we're able to carry through a lot more better throughout the day. Also, our mind in a relaxed state. And then when you start to do this practice every single morning, you're going to find that scenarios and uh, situations that usually would stress you, usually would create frustrations, now are much easier to handle. Nothing's changed on the outside. Things are still happening the way it is. People are still talking to you and engaging you in the same way. But you may find that you are not reacting the same way. It doesn't seem to bother you as much. You know? And that's really the goal here. It's not to try to change everything on the outside, in our outside world. You know, we'll do the best we can. But when we learn to go ahead and be okay with on the inside, because we remove the agitation, we remove the tension and the stress and the frustration, the fear on the inside, now everything on the outside doesn't affect us as much. So hope this shines a little bit of light into the training method. And uh, if you want more videos uh, discussing more about this stuff, leave me in the comments below. You can also uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, my chain official. Thanks, guys.